and a very warm welcome to Bharata First. I'm Frank Rao Pereira. This is FRP Explains. First, let me remind you about Bharata First Knowledge Center learning experience like none other. We've started our international relations and Indian art and culture classes already. One class each and uh, you can be a part of this incredible journey as well. Go to kc.bharatafirst.com and register now. Make use of the limited per period early bird discounts. They are there only for a few more days. This is your last chance. Register now and transform the way you gain knowledge. Since you're here, please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon and then hit all notifications to share the content as well so that more people get to know about Bharata first. Well, I'm here to talk about the violence that we witnessed uh, during the Uttar Pradesh rural body polls. Results, of course, have gone in favor of the BJP and the chief minister and the state president of the BJP have celebrated the victory. But the violence has been bad and it was something that we wish we didn't see. There was violence in 18 of the districts of Uttar Pradesh and the two districts which were uh, particularly disturbed were Etawa and Unnao. And ASP in Etawa has made a formal complaint about how he was attacked. He was slapped by BJP workers who had bombs with them is also what he has gone on record to say. And the police officers at the highest level have said that they will look into the matter, investigate and see what exactly happened. In another incident in Unnao, a journalist who was uh, there who was covering uh, the elections as well as the violence was beaten up by the CDO who is an IAS officer and several others whom he claims were BJP workers. BJP workers, if they have gone ahead and done this, the BJP should take cognizance and take action against those who have, who have committed these acts of violence and who have beaten up the journalists, also beaten up a police officer on duty. These are serious offenses and need to be looked at because similar kind of incidents have taken place in West Bengal as well. And we've seen a nationwide hue and cry about how things have gone so bad in West Bengal. Of course, the violence has not been as bad in Uttar Pradesh, but violence is violence at the end of the day and it needs to be looked at. Similarly, there has been another horrific incident of uh, a Dalit man being beaten up by members of other castes, the higher castes in Uttar Pradesh as well. So all these instances, of course, do not leave a good taste in the mouth and show that uh, all is not well within society. Of course, it's not a reflection of what's happening as a whole. These are uh, incidents that are happening here and there. But still, in an aspirational India, in an India which is looking at being a global power and who is a regional power, these kind of incidents cannot be tolerated and we need to put an end to it sooner rather than later. The BJP state unit and uh, in fact uh, a minister in the government too has come forward and said that no one will be spared for the violence that was caused during uh, the rural body polls and even if they are from the ruling party action will be taken against them. Let's see if the rural ruling party actually goes ahead and acts and action is taken against those who are from the BJP itself. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of FRP Explains. If you like the content, please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon and then all notifications and do share the content as well so that more people get to know about Bharata first. Also, 
Before I go, let me remind you about our Knowledge Center. It has been launched for your learning experience and to help you in your uh, competitive exams preparations. It will transform the way you learn and it will change the way you gain knowledge. Our international relations and Indian art and culture classes have already begun and the students have really loved it and the response has been phenomenal. You too can be a part of this journey. Go to kc.bharatafirst.com and register now. This is the last chance to avail the limited period early bird discount. So join or register today. Also, here are the UPI IDs for those of you who would like to come forward and make a contribution. A small contribution that you make will be a giant leap for us to keep bringing you this content. That's it from me. See you again next time.